Meeting day, Burlington residents will be weighing in on another ranked choice voting charter change, this time to extend the method of voting to all city elections, including mayor. Two years ago, voters approved that method of voting for city council elections. It was utilized for the first time in a special election in December and will be in play for council races on town meeting day. So as voters get set to cast their ballots, we asked our Catherine Huntley to explain how ranked choice voting works, and she joins us now. Catherine. Well, cat ranked choice voting has been an ongoing discussion in Burlington for years. The city actually had it and repealed it after the leader in a five-way race for mayor lost after two rounds of voting, souring voters, voters to this method. Now it's back in limited use and could be expanded if voters agree. Under ranked choice voting, majority rules. A candidate must secure more than 50% of the votes cast to be declared the winner. Rather than just voting for one candidate in a race, the process involves ranking candidates in order of preference. Middlebury political science professor Burt Johnson says most people's confusion lies in the fact it's brand new to them. One way to think about it is there's multiple stages of voting that takes place within the context of one election. Here's an example from December's special election for East District City Council race that featured three candidates and a line for write-in votes. Voters had the option to rank those options one through four by filling in the corresponding bubble on the ballot. Democrat Maya Brandt received more than 50% of the original vote, so she was declared the winner. However, election officials still go through the process of candidate elimination. Here's how that worked. After the first round, they eliminated the writing candidate, the line in red, because it had the least number of votes. Those votes were transferred to the candidates the write-in voters ranked as their second place. In this case, you can see from the chart here, the person who selected a write-in person first place, they then had their second place points divvied up with Maya Brandt receiving four more votes and Jake Schumann receiving three more. That still left Schumann in third place. So in the next round, he was eliminated and his supporters' second choice votes were assigned to the remaining two candidates. 22 votes going to Brandt and 26 to second place finisher Dina John. In this example, no change in the outcome because Brandt already had a majority on the first round. But ranked choice voting can result in the original top vote getter losing the election as it did in the 2009 mayor's race. That can seem, uh, uh, can seem weird and unjust, although keep in mind that the way the system works, um, that is a possibility. And that is not the system malfunctioning, that is the system functioning as it was designed to function. Some voters might only want to vote for one candidate who they prefer the most, such as if people strictly vote along party lines. If you only have a preference for one person, you can certainly just vote for preference one, but be aware that if that candidate gets dropped after the first round because the candidate has too few votes to continue, then your vote in that second round is not going to be counted because you have no second choice vote and your first choice candidate is out of it. Notably, the last mayoral election in Burlington was won by a razor-thin margin. Democrat incumbent Moreau Weinberger and progressive Max Tracy separated by just 129 votes. With each receiving less than 50% of the vote, if ranked choice voting was in play, the election would have been determined by the second place choice of the people who voted for third place candidate Ali Jang. Now, political science professor Burt Johnson says this movement has gained some traction nationally. Maine and Alaska now both use this for national elections. He also says ranked choice voting can result in more polite and civil campaigns because candidates are also vying for those second place votes in the instance that they don't receive 50% of the original vote. Live in the studio, Catherine Huntley, Channel 3 News.